Hey everybody, the Super Beta 400 here back for another review and this time this is my review of the entire DC Extended Universe. This is also my thoughts on the upcoming DC Extended Universe films, particularly Wonder Woman, Justice League, and of course the solo Batman film they have um, planned. They have planned. Um... Um, with that being said, of course, the DC Extended um, Universe, they've been trying to get a DC Cinematic Universe started for a long time. Now, they wanted to do it back then, but they couldn't because Christopher Nolan, Christopher Nolan wanted to focus individually on Batman, wanted to focus individually on Batman. He wanted to keep characters like Batman and Superman separate, um characters separate entities separate universes and and they wanted to start and when they wanted to start the DC extended universe Nolan's Batman was still reveling and still in theaters and they couldn't put that Batman into a DC extended universe those characters in Batman in the no Christopher Nolan trilogy are far too realistic to exist in a DC extended um universe and they wanted to start a DC extended universe with the 2011 Green Lantern film, but that film flopped, so um, they rebooted the DC Extended Universe, they rebooted DC with, they started with Man of Steel, which was awesome, believe it or not, when I saw it for the first time in 2013, I really didn't care much for it, I just wanted the film to do good, because if the film did good, they can make the film I want to see, and that's the Justice League um, movie. After rewatching the film two more times, two more times after not after not seeing it for like um three years, three years, I like this film. I like I can appreciate this film much more now than I did back when I saw it in 2013. And I think this film is underrated. It is one of the best these one of the best comic book movies of all time. I think Superman 2 Returns and this one right here are the best Superman films. Are the best um Superman films. Henry Cavill, while my opinion acting wise, he is phenomenal. He is not as good as Christopher the late Christopher Reeve, Brandon Routh and uh Tom Wellington Tom Welling, I think that's his name from the Smallville television series. He's not the actor they are, but he's more physically imposing than any of those guys are as Superman, as Superman. And I also like how this film took inspirations from the original Superman, but also um the New 52 with the whole um whole um costume and um and I like how this Superman, and I like how Zack Snyder's Man of Steel, this Superman um, reimagined him, but still stayed, tr tr in my opinion, true to what Superman was about. But they, um, they modernized him for um, younger audiences, and they made him, what I, in my opinion, more realistic. They made Superman um, more realistic. What would it be like if Superman was in the real world? If he was in the real world, he he would have his fans. But he would also have these detractions, especially for all the collateral damage he caused. Then they got rid of the Fortress of Solitude to make it more uh, real, um, realistic, make it realistic. Some people liked it, some people didn't, but the film was still a box office success, and the film was still a box office success. Now, they didn't make as much money as they did, which is why they incorporated the Batman character into, into the sequel, which I'm about to get to in a minute, but more about Man of Steel film was great um amy adams was awesome as lois lane love Lawrence fishburne as um perry white and um michael shannon not really that much of a fan of michael shannon but he was phenomenal as zod in this um he was phenomenal as zod in this film and um, i don't remember the actor's name portraying the other phantom zone criminals Rus russell crowe as joel i love how more despite being dead i love how more involved Jero was more in in the plot of this um in the plot of this um movie in the plot of this movie the only thing i didn't like about the film i've sort of gotten used to it, but the only thing i didn't like was how dark and gloomy this film was but that's because at the time i saw i just came off of avengers and wanted a comic booky 
cartoonish film like that, but um, that's not what this was. So no, that's not what this was. So the 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 which coach got another thing I like was the overabundance of CGI, especially on in Krypton. Krypton looked like Pandora. Pandora, all that unnecessary stuff on um Krypton, but um film was awesome. And I and I love it now more than I did back in two thousand um thirteen. That did back in two thousand thirteen. Thirteen. And um next the next film in the series was Batman v Superman. First, I'm going to talk about the theatrical version. Then I'm going to talk about the much superior Ultimate Edition version, because they're two different versions. Batman v. Um, Superman, um, Dawn of Justice. I initially planned to see this with a friend, but because of personal problems, I didn't do it. And when I saw the negative reviews, which caught me by surprise, when I saw the negative reviews, I decided to skip it. I decided to skip it, but, um, I decided to skip it, but, um, I really, so I waited till weeks after it was, after it was released, after it was released, and, and, um, and, um, and after seeing all the negative reviews online, and seeing all, and seeing all the negative reviews on YouTube, I wanted to give my own shot at it, I wanted to tear this film apart, because I did not like what I was hearing, I did not like what I was hearing, so I figured that several months, several weeks after the film had been out of theaters, I figured there had to be a, a low quality leak version online somewhere. Luckily, I found one. I found, I found one. I found one and decided to watch the movie and decided to watch um the movie and decided to watch the movie and and from the opener to them explaining Batman and Superman's from I mean, from the opening from the opening with Superman from the opening with Batman with Batman with Batman's origin and the um and the battle with Superman and Zod from the last film Man of Steel all the way to the final fight with Doomsday and to Clark Kent's funeral I was hooked man talk about exceeding my expectations my expectations this film was awesome after seeing it now the theatrical version is not as good as um man of steel and not as good as um it was its rival this year captain america um civil war civil war civil war because um there was lots of problems with the films there was lots of unexplained there was lots of inconsistencies inconsistencies in this film but the 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 the, the cast especially Affleck Ben Affleck and Jeremy Irons Jeremy Irons the the visuals and the action carried the film man carried the film man carried the film awesome film then of course you got the ultimate the DVD the ultimate edition which I saw which is three hours um long which adds more scenes which adds more scenes and in my opinion it really improves the movie more explains more and explains several things that were not explained and gives more um backstory to the rivalry between batman and superman batman and superman in this film it also gives you a glimpse of the villain stephen wolf for the upcoming justice league um movie coming next year coming um coming um coming um next year so um yeah like i said the um the special edit see the the captain america civil war in my opinion is better than the original theatrical version and so is man of steel however the ultimate however the ultimate edition is on par with both of those movies in my opinion now we get to suicide squad Suicide Squad, which I thought after seeing Batman v Superman, I thought this film right here was gonna be the worst film in the DC Extended Universe. First off, I thought the idea for a supervillain movie was stupid. Secondly, this film just didn't appear to be in the same universe as Batman v Superman and Man of Steel. Then I didn't see how how does the events of Batman v Superman lead into Suicide Squad, lead into Suicide Squad, and then um. The film I wanted to see was Justice League Dark, but they probably held off on that so they wouldn't confuse. So they wouldn't confuse people, so they probably held off on the Justice League Dark movie. But um, that's the film I um, wanted to see in the film. They probably should have um, made. I only 
tune in to film to see the large and colorful cast of characters. I was I, while while I wasn't familiar with Suicide Squad, I did know who the characters Deadshot and the rest of them were individually. And I wanted to also see where Ben Affleck's Batman character, where does his character go after the events of Batman v Superman, of Batman v Superman. After seeing this film, not only was this film awesome, I want to see more of this film. And for a while, I thought it was the best DC Extended Universe film. I think Man of Steel and this film are the best of the DC Extended um Universe. Whereas the Batman of Steel and Batman v Superman were dark and gritty dark and gritty this film was more more comic book more lighthearted and more upbeat despite the fact that this was a quote-unquote super villain movie the man of steel and batman v superman films were darker more serious and more grittier than this film was despite the fact this film was a team of super villains super um Super villains and coming into this film, I thought it was going to be their version of the Winter Soldier and G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra. And it started off as that way in the beginning of the film, but then it turned into their own version of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of um, the Galaxy. Um, it's also similar to some other prison um, movie. I keep forgetting what it's called. But, um, yeah. Um, yeah, and like I said, film was awesome. Story, characters, and man, that final fight scene, that final fight scene in the city with the Enchantress was awesome, man. Was um awesome. The soundtrack, uh, no, uh, uh, one of the best soundtrack, one of the most unique and awesome soundtracks I've ever seen in a uh, film. I've ever seen in a film. Then of course, um. So, um, yeah, um, phenomenal film, man, awesome movie, man, um, awesome movie, now, now I'm gonna give, and then, of course, I mentioned in my Suicide Squad, the, um, the follow-ups, of course, they're doing a, they're, they're they want to, David Ayer wants to do a spin-off focusing, they want, they want to do a sequel focusing on the backstory of Katana, then he wants to do a solo Deadshot film starring Will Smith, which I can't wait for. Then a solo Harley Quinn film, which I'm mixed about. Mixed about. Then of course the Wonder Woman. You got the Wonder Woman film coming next year, which looks awesome. It looks just. It looks like their own version of Thor and Captain America, except bigger, badder, and better. Bigger, badder, and better. Then of, and you got um, Chris Pine, Kurt from the Star Trek reboot, appearing as Trevor in this. Uh, in the film in the um film trailer and stuff looks good then of course you got the justice league the justice league film which the justice league looks straight the characters look straight out of their new 52 appearances man new 52 um new 52 um appearances and the 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 the, the, the screenplay the um synopsis is, Looks awesome. Like I said, it looks like their own version of the Avengers, except once again, bigger, badder, and better. Um, uh, then, of course, um, what's the next? Um, then, of course, you got a solo Batman film with Deathstroke as the main antagonist. Slade, Deathstroke is the main antagonist. And then this film, because they're focusing on this film, the second Justice League film that was supposed to be in 2019 got pushed back got pushed back and I mentioned all the other um other pro properties like you got ki a soul you got um flash you got flash which Jai Courtney's Captain Boomerang he will reprise his role for that film then of course you got um what's the other film then of course um Aquaman Aquaman has his own film respectively has his own film respectively so does so does shazam which i think is in a universe onto itself with rock portraying the character black adam then of course you got um what's another film what's another film called what's another film called oh yes the film i can't wait for the green lantern corpse movie which will have al jordan and john stewart in the film in one film in one film so um so um 
Yeah, DC Extended Universe, man. I can't wait. Well, um, this was uh, my review. This was my review of the um, DC um, DC Extended Universe and my thoughts on their future upcoming films. All right, um, I'm done. <laughs>